Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs. And in today's video, we are going to create this Google logo reveal animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin. And if you want to learn more about logo animation and other stuff, then don't forget to check out my Udemy course. Link is available in the description. And if you are new to this channel, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So first of all here we are in adobe illustrator now for animation we have to create our logo properly so uh, we will choose this google logo png format and we will simply bring this to illustrator then we will zoom out a little bit press e for transform tool and by holding shift i am going to reduce this size like this and then hit ctrl 0 to make this fit okay like that then i am going to select this layer over here and we will get this option known as image trace after that you will get this down arrow so simply click on it and choose six colors then it will start a little bit of processing and it will also be a little bit uh, difficult process for your computer but don't worry uh, it will happen uh, always so don't worry about it so after doing that uh, we will do expand for this so simply select this logo and click on this expand so what will happen that uh, uh, your logo is going to be uh, get in the shape format after doing this process so uh, just wait for it okay then as you guys can see now our png logo is properly shaped and now we have to select this logo right click and choose ungroup and as you guys can see we will get some little bit background so you have to delete it also you will get this a little bit of fill so you have to delete those like that and you will get this logo properly in shape format then you have to go to the down arrow over of this layer then click on this target go over here and choose release to layer sequence so simply click on it select all of these layers by holding shift and we can simply drag it down so now each and every one is properly on the separated layer and i'll delete this extra layer now we have to name it properly so select this and type g g o o e l along with that they should be properly lined so i'll do proper alignment of them like google then select all of these layers hit ctrl c create new layer press ctrl shift v and let's bring this layer downwards and we will hide all of this again we will follow the same procedure to do separations on each and every layer and we will delete this layer then i'm going to select all of this stuff and select this fill and simply delete this fill and we will add uh, this any kind of color you can add i'll add red color just for the reference so i'll save this file now and i'll enable this layers just like this now i'll go to the after effects and i'll create new composition i'll call it as main animation width is 1920 height 180 frame rate 30 duration one minute and background color is white and simply hit ok go to choose grid and guide option simply hit on titles section press ctrl i on your keyboard to import your illustrator file simply select this illustrator file import as footage composition return layers and sizes and simply hit import and we will bring this layer over here double click to open this we will hide this first layers and simply hide them select all of the stroke layers right click create shift from text and we will bring them over here like that and we will delete all of these layers now uh, i have forgot to mention the name of this layer so uh, hit enter and simply type g select this hit enter simply type o select this hit enter type o select this hit enter type g select this hit enter type l select this hit enter type e and now because we are going to create multiple duplicates of this layer so what i'm going to do i'm going to change the color of each and every layer to the different one so i'll select this g for example i'll choose red for this o i'm going to choose yellow for this i'm going to choose different color for this i'm going to choose pink lavender peach okay and we will select all of these layers over here and press f4 and we will click on this shy option and we will enable this so we cannot see that because we don't need to use that right now 
and let's do one thing we will increase this area <coughs> just for our animation so we have a uh, different different layer uh, i mean colors for each and every layer why we did that we can see in a uh, few minutes so uh, let's select this g over here let's go to the add menu and we are going to choose trim path go to the trim path let's make this initial value zero create one keyframe zoom in go to around two, two frames and let's make this value 100 uh, go to the start and let's make this zero so if you see we will get this kind of animation now select those keyframes and hit f9 just like this and uh, along with that sorry select this uh, and let's do one thing uh, we will go select this uh, offset create one keyframe go to the last and let's make this 80 just like this now select those keyframes and hit f9 like this okay so we'll get this kind of stuff now select this and change go to the stroke width and type 5 pixels over here so we'll get something like this now along with this uh, trim path we have to add another menu select this add and choose over here you will get the stroke like this go to the start go to the stroke uh, over here or i think we don't need to do that so i'll uh, skip this procedure we don't need to do that okay so uh, we have to select this trim path and hit ctrl c to copy select all of them and hit ctrl v and also uh, make sure to select all of these layers and change the stroke width to 5 pixels so if you see we will get this kind of animation now hit u select all of these layers hit ctrl t and we will bring them at the top we will go to around 10 frames and we will move them over here and we will change the stroke width to 15 pixels again hit ctrl d bring them at the top go to around 20 frames and let's move them over here and change the stroke width to 25 uh, go to the one sphere seconds hit ctrl d let's move them over here and move them over here and miss this to 35 go to around 10 frames hit ctrl d bring them at the top move them over here and change it to 45 like this so we will get this kind of animation and as you guys can see it's still not filled so i'll go to a few frame forward 1.20 hit ctrl d bring them at the top move them over here and make this 55 like this still some portions are not filled so i'll go to around 20 frames i'll hit ctrl d let's bring them at the top and let's move them over here and change it to 65 just like this so now uh, as you guys can see each and every one is properly filled and now uh, because we are uh, going to select all the red layers by holding control so, uh, so uh, we can say that uh, we will get proper composition of this g so i'll press ctrl shift c and i'll name it as g and i'll hide them then we will select this o so o is with yellow color so you have to select all the yellow layers uh, I so uh, as you guys can see I have colored them because in this vast composition uh, it would be difficult to select colors but if you see over here we have didn't mention uh, I mean we didn't select this G so you can hit ctrl X to cut it out go inside this G and hit ctrl V so it will be come over here like this then uh, we will select this O by holding ctrl or select all of the yellow layers press ctrl shift c and let's call it as o and we will hide them then we will select this colored layers hide them then select all of this e okay so google like that and let's disable this shyness and now we will select this g we will bring them downwards and press f4 and choose alpha mask so now if you see we will get this kind of revealing animation for that g similar procedure we will move this o choose alpha mask and enable this o move this o over here like this choose alpha mask move this g over here this enable this choose alpha mask 
then bring this L over here, choose alpha mask, then select this E, choose alpha mask. So now if you see this animation, you will get something like this. Now uh, I want their animation to be one by one. So again, I'm going to take a distance of 10, 10 frames. So I want this O should start from here. This thing should start from here. This should start from here. This should start from here. And this should start from here. Like this. Okay. And simply select all of them. Press Ctrl Shift C. And let's call it as animation. And hit OK. Like this. And hit Ctrl D. And let's bring this at the top. Just like this. Just for our reference. I'll go over here. I'll select this. I'll hold Alt open bracket right click go to the time and time freeze frame and i'll bring this layer over here for my reference then i'll select this animation layer zoom in a little bit now again i'll hit ctrl d and this time i'm going to take a distance of 5 5 frames and i'll adjust them one by one so basically i have created this kind of copies now select this last layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for fill effect to apply with the help of the speaker, I'm going to select this blue color. Select the sixth layer, apply fill effect and add red color of this one. Select this fifth layer, apply fill effect. Select this yellow color. Fourth layer, apply fill effect. Select this green color. Apply fill effect. Select this red color. And we don't need to apply any color to the last layer. And now I'm going to create this extra layer. And I'll bring this downwards. So if you see, we will get this kind of revealing animation for our logo. Then after that, I'm going to select this layer. I'll hit Ctrl D and I'll move this over here like this. And I'll move this layer a little bit over here. But before that, I'll select this layer and I'm going to apply find edge effect on it like this let's disable enable this so you will get something like this you can invert this effect so we will get this kind of output so now if you see this reveal we will get this kind of revealing animation and if you want then uh, you can simply move this over here also just like this okay so we will get this kind of stuff and now you can simply go inside each and every one of this over here you can press f4 and you can enable the motion blur so what will happen you will get a little bit of motion blur for uh, each and every one so if you want then you can do that it's totally up to you i'm going to enable the motion blur for each and every one it will make your animation a little bit look cooler and it will take a little bit time to load also but the final output would be awesome i'm going to choose quarter resolution just for now then i'll go to main animation i'll close all of this stuff over here let's make this quarter resolution press s for scaling option and scale it like this and uh, because we are going to put to white background so let's bring this downwards Let's make this full resolution just for our reference. That's how it's going to be. Let's go inside this, select the second layer. I'm going to delete this invert. I don't want that because we have applied white uh, background over here. Then I'm going to select this. I'll hit Ctrl D. I'll press S, unlink this, and let's make this minus value. Press P. Let's bring this downwards like this. Okay, so this is going to be my reference, I mean reflection layer, like this. Okay. And let's make this something like this. And we will bring this over here. Okay. Then press Ctrl N to create another composition and press Ctrl Y to create one solid background. And apply fractal noise effect and uh, go to the transform property uh, unlink this uniform scaling increase the scale width to 5000 like this and decrease the scale width somewhere around like this increase the contrast a little bit adjust the scale like this 
go to the main animation hit ctrl 0 bring this comp 1 over here and let's hide this select this first layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for compound blur effect double click to apply and choose this comp 1 over here like this and choose code resolution so at the end you will get this kind of logo preview then uh, along with this uh, reveal we have to add some lights also for this logo but uh, before that right click new and create one null object simply bring them over here select all of them and make it apparent with this null select this null press s let's make this 115 create one keyframe go to around let's say 8 second uh, maybe and let's make this 95 okay so what will happen along with this animation you will get a little bit of zoom out effect like this and now uh, right click new and create one adjustment layer and we are going to type lens lens flare effect double click to apply just like this okay let's make this full resolution and we will try to bring this over here and brightness should be 200 or i think 200 is too much so let's make this 110 let's create this uh, lens flare over here go to the start create one flare center hit u and go to around 8 second and we will move this from here to here like this okay so now if you see this animation it will take a little bit time to load because we have added too much animation and we have also added that uh, motion blur so that's why it's taking this much time but the final output would gonna be awesome so if you see we will get this kind of reveal along with that you will get that blur lens flare effect also like that okay so this is how you can create this kind of logo reveal animation inside of after effects